global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel. A lot is happening in River State that is bringing attention to um, some of the strong loyalists and supporters of Fobara. Uh, in his week of birthday, uh, many of them have decided to showcase a lot of his achievements so far. I can show you he has done quite a lot that made the likes of um, former governor of River State, Peter Odedi, to say amongst the best, he is the very best, despite all the challenges. But there's something, a charge that um, the chairman of Obi Obo, who happened to be the chairman of um, Yesomiki's uh, local government area, is telling uh, Riverians and people from his side. Let's quickly find out exactly what it is that shows that maybe there's something going on behind the scene and they want um, everybody to be on red alert. Before we go into the newspaper, kindly subscribe to our channel. Now, according to uh, Chijoke Ambassador Chijoke Hyo, he has actually spoke about World Unity Forum and he spoke a lot. He said um, that the chairman of the local government area of River State in Hyo Chijoke says a big battle lies ahead of Governor Similar Life Fubara ahead of the 2027 elections. Now, for him, the battle will not be about Governor Similar Life Fubara alone for the soul and resources of river state now ambassador chiji okinyowo is therefore calling on all residents who mean well for the growth and development of river state to rally around governor fubara like never before he was speaking while granting audience to a social political group in nobi local government area known as Obo unity forum and the chief servant of nobi local government area However, told his guest that with God, Governor Fubara will surmount all challenges. Let me quote him word for word. He said, I know that some of the people currently supporting His Excellency, Sir Simnalaye Fubara, will ditch us before the next general elections in 2027. Maybe for some personal and selfish reasons, but I urge you all to remain firm and loyal to my leader because his priority in River State and her people. And her people. Then he now went for that. I said, I plead with you to take the message of His Excellency to the nooks and crannies of Obo Kingdom. On their on their visit, the, the chairman of Obi Obo local government area, that's Ambassador Chijoke Hyo, promised to carry members of the group along in his administration of the council. He said, You can take it for granted that we will ask. As an administration carry along in what we do in this council it can come in any shape but it is an appointment as as aides or as members of committees all get towards enhancing development in our local government area earlier the leader of upper unity forum that's chico the dk congratulated ambassador chijo kenyowo on his election victory describing it as the people's mandate Chiko DK, who is a former CTC chairman of Obi Obo local government, also passed a vote of confidence in the leadership of Ambassador Nyowu based on his track record so far. He has also appreciated he also appreciated the Obi Obo Council boss for the appointment of some sons and daughters of Obo Kingdom into his team. You have already done a lot for our persons, but like Oliver Twist, we ask for more in terms of appointment as a group. We are happy to work with you and our dear governor, Sir Simnalai Fobara, and will always stand firm on his ideals. Present at the meeting, present at that meeting was the Secretary of the Council, Dr. Prince Amechi Ofoneme Okon, who happens to be the Obi local government chief press secretary. Now he's literally telling them to get ready that those people are shouting, Fubara, you don't you know, or all those people shouting, day your day, make a day my day. That they are just doing that, they are like praise singers, but he does know that as a seasoned politician that he is, he has been there before, and he knows that all of these people can be psychophantic. It does not mean that Fubara is going to have an easy ride. It's not saying that judging by what he's saying, it's going to get dicey. My colleague is in the house. What's your take on this little the, the, the revelation made by Chijo Kenyowo, who said Fubara will do eight years sacrosanct? What is going on? Well, they didn't. What he was trying to paint out here for me is um, the fact that Simi Similari Fubara is a different stock of politician. You know that one of the very common attitude of greedy politician is that they'll pick a subset of the state, subset of 
influential persons in the state and then will keep them so much high for those below to understand or to know that there is a gross difference between him and them and those people he's going to pick they'll be very loyal to him you understand mm -hmm. though he will want to create a situation whereby when we step out they will know that we are the big boys and that's exactly what had happened before now it was shocking to me when I heard that the little money that was basic salary for you know civil servant was not implemented in River State. And every time I think about it, it's quite shocking because we know how much goes in there. But when he came on board, all of that was settled. Right now, as we are talking, so much is going on and it seems as though everybody is having a feel. And interestingly, because of his blueprint in terms of uh, developing uh, human resources and all of that, even those who are chairmen, starting from those who were CTC chairmen uh, down to those who are now elected chairman, all of them are focused on delivering the dividend of democracy to their own uh, individual uh, local government. And that's a big plus. We, as he came on board, Virtually everyone have tested of the resources, especially those who are in strategic position, not just strategic position, I'm talking about the entirety of civil servant, every other person, student. Imagine going to a particular university and you say that all the graduates of that university will be work will be given employment in Ministry of Health just to make sure that the state does not suffer anything called brain drain. And apart from that, just to make sure that the issue of uh, uh, unemployment has been reduced drastically. That's what we're looking for. You know, unfortunately, that's not obtainable in other states in Nigeria. There are some people who came on board. Nobody was employed from the day they entered to the day they left. Nobody was employed. It's as bad as that. Now, putting all of that into context, it's important we preserve this kind of leadership. It's important we make this stand by this man in the area of any political fight to ensure that we restore back this same leadership so that at least it will go an extra mile to give us that opportunity to keep enjoying that which is reverse money because that's very important. But if you play games with him and he slips off, you will cry and cry forever. Nobody will hear you. Because when those set of criminal politicians have been restored back to the position, it's going to be a case what the Pama Worm and Fubara Kanka Worm has taken from us. We are going to restore it a hundredfold. And that means they will loot, they will loot the state. And unfortunately, the worst set of looting is legitimate looting whereby the person has been given authority to handle the resources of the state and based on authority has been given to handle the authority the resources of the instead of equitably redistributing the wealth of the state to everybody he would take that time to loot this as much as he feels like in that kind of state there's nothing you can do about it you've got to wait for the next eight years and they will impoverish the people so that during the period of election they will be giving you back of rice and small small thing cups of rice and you bring them in again they keep on that's what they want to see they want to impoverish the people in such a way that their influence whenever they step out they will keep singing some of the funny songs that we have heard thus far this is what these guys want. So if you want to sustain this kind of leadership, you must do everything within your power. During the period of the, the political, this, this, this period of political, uh, or let me say during 2027, to ensure you restore back this leadership. That's just my standpoint. I don't stand to benefit anything. But the little that we have seen in the reign of Obara, it seems he has been able to touch virtually everyone. And everyone is feeling his touch, except those you know, in the other camp who are not ready. They want him to relinquish power to them so that they can loot the way they want to loot. No, what caught my attention is the right word, legitimate loot. Of course. Taking it rightly, even though it is not your right. Yes. And having backing of the Lord to do so. Well, that's going to wrap it up. Let's hope that you said one ba bag of rice. If they begin bag of rice, Nigerians won't worry. It's cup, cup, cup of rice with salt during election time. That's going to wrap it up.